Back in the 1980s, a shooter was released called Gradius. Now, especially compared to other shooters of the era, Gradius did a lot of things differently and brought a lot of new things to the table, which is why it's garnered the support and fandom that it has, spawning any number of sequels and spin-off series. Now, Gradius has never meant quite as much to me as other series, such as our type but it's a very important part of our gaming history, and something that I feel all of you should experience and see. We may not be playing the original today, but I've chosen a game that I think very well portrays what makes Gradius, Gradius. Welcome to Let's Play Gradius 3. Now, let's see here. Gradius 3 was a port from the arcade, so instead of being something as grand as, say, R-Type 3, this is more akin to Super R-Type. Everything there sounds standard enough. Now you play as the Vic Viper from planet Gradius battling against the Bacterian Empire. The Bacterian Empire is the main villain, I guess you could say, of the Gradius series. You fought off and destroyed good portions of them time and time again, but this time, let's hope we can really take them out. Now here, they actually give you a number of preset groups that you can play with. However, they actually give you edit mode, where you can choose your own neat things, and it's pretty alright. Now let's see here, missile-wise, I went with that one. Let's see what the Hawkwind does. Double, I like being able to shoot backwards. Laser. I would say either the C laser or E laser is a little more iconic of Gradius, but I'm going with the ripple for a uh, very specific reason. Option-wise, the regular option is just what you get in Gradius. It's what it has been in every game previous to this one. Um, there is also the S option, F option, and R option. Personally, I think I prefer F. But simply because it shows you what the game does, I'm going to go with the option option. Question mark is generally more of a defensive ability, such as a shield. In fact, that's exactly what I'm getting. The exclamation point is a little bit different, and... I'm not entirely sure which one I want to get, because I'm not super fond of any of them. I think I may go with the Mega Crush. Yeah, let's go with the Mega Crush. Oh man, we got the music playing! Also, I'm save stating because shooters! Give, give, give! Ha! Okay, I got a better idea. Let them get a little bit closer. I'm getting two speed ups, so I actually have some mobility. Now you want to get a missile at some point. I'll actually explain the um, 
how the fighting here works. Momentarily. Yeah, dang it! How the power-ups work, it, though, is, um... Like crap, concentration, man. Oh, jeez. Okay. How the power-ups in this game work are, um, you actually... Every power-up you get all does the same thing, and it moves your, um, little thing at the bottom there slowly across the... bar. Once you get it over far enough, you can actually use it to buy power-ups. Went ahead and bought laser, just so it's a little easier for me to hit things. Next up, I'm getting an option! Now, having two speed power-ups leaves me with, um, a lot less... The blue ones, by the way, kill all enemies on screen, so that's pretty great. Now, let's see here. I have an option, so that's pretty great. You can get up to three or so options. Next up, I will get the missiles. But this game actually has a uh, fair amount of slowdown in it, and I'm going to be using that to my advantage, because this game... But the neat thing about the options is that they follow you around, as they are wont to do, and they actually will track behind you. Let's see, what do I want to get next? I don't want to get Tailgun. You can actually only have either the, um, laser... You can only have the laser or the tail gun at the same time, or whatever option you happen to choose for that one. Kill him so I can go down there and kill all of you nubs. Dang it. I don't care. I don't care. Kill him. Kill him. Now kill you nubs. And now pray a little. Yay! So I'll probably go ahead and get another option. Next. There we are. Missiles and options! Heck yeah! Your options all shoot for you, and you can use them to your advantage by doing things like getting your options to places that you couldn't get to. Or just here, where I'm just going to be shooting the crap out of this thing's eye. But what I mean by that is I could actually do something like get the options inside this guy and, like, inside his little maw there. And they will continue shooting him even when his maw is closed, which is pretty great. I'm having a terribly hard time actually doing it, but we killed him! And in the end of the day, that's all that matters. There, we killed the first boss of the game. First boss! This game actually has a fair amount of length to it, and now that we're between stages, there's less slowdown, which means I have to be more careful. Now, let's see here. Next up, I'm going for... you, piece of crap. I want to kill these dudes. I want to kill them so bad. Hey, you. Just give... Me your power-ups. I notice that the um the orange dudes tend to be the ones that give power-ups. With another option, I've got a little more mobility and freedom to do things and not get murdered by dudes. I could have actually killed them if I'd left the options just a little bit there. Now, the uh, ripple laser, the spherical laser, is actually not super great against bosses. There we go, got all my options! I'm gonna rock this game now. Now I can hang out up here and have my options just destroy everything on screen. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, back. Pleasure uh, to do business with you. Okay, now these little, like, shooter dudes are annoying as all crap. There we go. Give me, thank you. 
Now I got an orange dude up there. I got a couple orange dudes. Next up, I'm saving up for the shield. I've got everything else. There we go. Now I shouldn't be load stating quite as often because I can actually take a couple of hits. That does not destroy all the bubbles on screen, sadly. And now this is where it gets just a little bit insane because there's so many. Wow, I could have gotten killed by that. I'm kind of glad I did. I'm glad that all worked out for me. Um, occasionally enemies will come from the back of the screen, so you don't want to hug the back. Kinda like that. It's not like the super often though. This guy though is kind of a jerk. And by kind of a jerk, I mean he will st steal your bloody options. And with this format and options, I actually can't really do much about it. No, you monster! There's got to be something I can do about that. I could probably shoot him if I had tail gun. I got hit a couple times, so I've lost um, a lot of my shield there. There we go. I'll actually want to, um, you know what, I'll just go ahead and get tail gun now. I don't entirely understand what happened there, but I suppose... I don't remember that ever happening before. What's going on? I've, like, played this game before. What is... What crap is going on? What happens? Um... Bonus level! That I've never played before. What do you do? That is dangerous. What do you even do? Your points. Points. Give me one. Ah! Well, um, you guys are seeing something that I haven't. Yeah. Okay, I like the ripple. I do prefer the ripple. Oh. I prefer the ripple, but um, this is actually going to help me out a lot against... What even hit me there? I was looking somewhere completely different. That's an honest question. I have no idea what hit me. Okay, you go ahead and shoot at me so I can come down here and shoot all of you. Can I get a can I get a missile down there at him? No, I can't. I'm just gonna have to tail gun him. I um I'm gonna go ahead and cheat a little bit. Wow, because I kind of wanted a shield, which means only getting one of those. There we go. I like the ripple better overall, but especially against bosses. I'll just skip the previous level. The one level that I was on the ball. I think I skipped that level. That's, uh... That happened. I didn't even have to fight the boss at that level. Man, I'm gonna have to go back and show you that boss. Go ahead and ripple, but I'm going to get enough power-ups to, um, set my cursor on tail gun so I can actually change to it whenever. There we go. And I'm just gonna have to be careful not to collect power. Ah. Oh. That would have been like a kill everything on screen bomb. Okay, give me give me power ups so I can get back to hovering over the tail gun. There. Hovering over the tail gun so I can have it at a moment's notice. When the need arises. Um, sort of like now. To kill them duders behind me there. I want to thank. I'd like to thank the slowdown for um making this game a joy to play. Because heaven help me. I got nothing against this game if I was playing full speed. 
Hail gun. Really freaking useful. Holy poo. I could use a shield. I could use a shield. Not necessarily a ripple, I could use a shield. Yeah. Your shield actually has a larger hitbox than you do. So I will occasionally... I just completely lost my shield. Pretty, uh, pretty... Actually, I didn't. I have one hit left on the shield. The shield will absorb, like, three hits or so. Um, the shield also has a larger hitbox than you do, so even if you wouldn't get hit by something, sometimes your shield will still absorb a hit for it. Gotta put a downside in there somewhere, I guess. Hey, man. Oh, guys, what you shoot? Okay, I'm gonna do this and make, like, a little barrier over myself and then fly over. I don't even know what hit me. Alright, options, you keep doing your thing, then I come down here, and then I pay more attention because I have no idea what actually killed me. Barrier go! Flying quick! Enter free range mode! Where you can now fly up and down in things! And into bullets! That tail gun is so useful. Holy crap. Okay, now I would really like Ripple for this. I'd really like... I'd really appreciate... I really appreciate a Ripple for this. The Ripple has a larger hitbox. Okay, you guys just, like, all shoot your way in there and kill dude. I don't know if the Ripple actually would destroy more of these, though. It'd probably make it easier to destroy more of them if it didn't actually do it. See, in there I lost my shield because... Oh, well. Okay, you can destroy the boulders. That's good news. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna chill here for a minute. Okay, we destroyed the one up top, so that's good. There's still more coming from behind us. That's not so good. Now, if memory serves, I actually really sort of want to go down. But there's a whole lot of dudes down here. Actually, I gained nothing from going down. Now, one thing that is very much... Kill you two nubs. Can you guys, would you guys mind, would you guys mind, like, sending out your bomb upwards? Um, would you mind at all, like, shooting the bomb upwards? Go the bombs... Going upwards would be exceedingly helpful. Or you could just stop, like, spawning dudes. That is also a perfectly viable solution. How do you determine which way you're gonna go? Like, you're all going down. like, whatever side of the screen we're at. Ah, there we are. Now, the one thing that is very, very well known for the Gradius series. Is how a lot of the bosses fight and how you destroy them. You destroy bosses by shooting their weak points. Their weak points also being known as the core. Hence the phrase, shoot the core. Exactly what we're doing here! Shooting that core! Squeeze your wah! Squeeze your shots in between their various bullets and things. 
Uh, between the various barriers, you can, uh, slowly, slowly, slow. Oh, oh. Wow, I didn't save state that long. I need to be better at this. The ripple can indeed take them out. Whoa. The ripple can uh, get in there and take them out. Wide as it may be, it still works pretty well. There we are. Arc. 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 Once you destroy the first two... Once you destroy the first two, it actually um, opens it up so you can destroy the one in the back. There we are. Also, if you back up, you can, like, be at the edge of the screen, you can group your dudes up. It works better for, uh, squeezing bullets into places. Which should let me... destroy myself! And again! And again! Take him out! Come on, Vic Viper, this isn't that hard. You've dodged bullets all your life. Take him out! Shoot that car! It's red, it's almost done. You got this. Yeah! And with that, I'm actually going to take, uh, take a break until next time, everyone, when we continue playing Gradius 3. Hopefully I'll uh, not be embarrassingly bad at the game. Until next time, everyone.